There's a new documentary being made in the Twin Cities called Last Chance at Glory about a dominant semi-pro football team from Minneapolis. WCCO's Ren Clayton caught up with the Minnesota native behind the film to learn about the project, including its boundary-pushing aerial shot. All things considered, a documentary going behind the scenes with the Minneapolis Warriors semi-pro football players covering their struggles and successes was a no-brainer. It was just one of the most rewarding projects I've made because I have such a love for football and a love for filmmaking. Joe Carlini is originally from Woodbury, but is now a filmmaker in Los Angeles. He played five years of semi-pro football himself. I had a lot of that insight and, and kind of, you know, where to film the moments to capture, and then just the intensity of it as a filmmaker, I really, you know, kind of locked in. He honed in on an idea to create one continuous drone shot using the skills of the virally popular Sky Candy Studios, led by Carlini's friend Michael Welch. To be honest, that's one of the proudest things I've ever created was, was the drone video. The camera literally runs into him and bounces off. and. You know, to his composure, he, he just kept going with it. It results in what will be one of the most powerful moments of the film, which is still in production, set to be released next year. As far as my knowledge, it's the only drone that's really been in the trenches of football action. The movie is a glimpse into this unique branch of America's most popular sport. Some of them played in the NFL, some of them never played high school football before. Some were phenomenal athletes, some were incredibly out of shape that, you know, you didn't know if they were going to croak, you know, during the game. Oh. But not the Warriors. During the filming, they won their second straight national championship. In Woodbury, Ren Clayton, WCCO News. Carlini is still shooting portions of the film. The Minneapolis Warriors play their home games at Irondale High School.